What's up guys, welcome back to another session of this podcast. Uh, we, for the first time, have a repeat guest, right? So his name is Faxco and his company just gone through this rebranding exercise. It has been a huge success for them. So first of all, congratulations, Mr. Fax. Um, we're going to talk about this new model of solar energy that all of us now can implement because last time it was way too expensive la, to think about it, right? Anyway, um, check out our podcast. So um, today we have another special guest, which is the first guest that is appearing for the second time in this podcast session. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a lot of people were then, who, who is this dude? Why appear twice? Man? So, but today it's because of that passion of clean energy, of that passion of trying to make a change in Malaysia's uh, clean energy scene as well. Uh. So to, again, we have Mr. Fax Cole. Yeah. Hi everyone. So, um, congratulations on your new, for your media launch. Okay, yep. first of all, in this MCO time, you managed to pull off such a launch, right? Sorry, I couldn't make it. I was at a construction site. No way. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it was appearing, it appeared in several different uh, newspapers, news, no, no more newspaper, news outlet. Um, you want to explain briefly what is that all about? Oh yeah, actually there was uh, in two weeks ago. Mm. Yeah, so we have this uh, rebranding and also a new solution launched to the market. Mm. So what we did is uh, previously our company uh, is known as Plus Solar. Mm. So after that, uh, the way of how we run a business, we found out we are no longer solar. Actually, we are doing the new energy or clean energy beyond solar. Mm. So we just rebrand our company name right from plus solar to plus x energy mm. so initially we were thinking of put energy there but mm. to energy it seems like a bit old school so we <laughs> want to make it a little bit yeah, yeah young and fun so we change the e into x mm. so the x means something uh, right like reinventing innovations yeah so cool. we just launched this new brand mm. at the same time we also launched the other three different solutions to the mm. market it's mainly because we found out during this period right the pandemic period a lot of people actually i mean every day right, we read the news there's a lot, lot of bad news around so we're thinking of inject and also probably insert some of the positive vibe mm. to the market mm. so we talk about what sort of free services that we can do to the community to the houses uh, residential houses or even though for the businesses help everyone to save energy at the same time we still can uh, enjoy the clean energy to make our environment is much cleaner and better cool you see what well, like very obvious is like practice before you know? <laughs> no, this, uh, this is something which i spoke for probably millions of time <laughs> throughout the years all right so Previously, Plus Solar was this company that provides uh, energy solution, uh, which yep. is uh, solar panels. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. like on the previous episode, we spoke about, I've seen your design on IKEA factory buildings. Yep. And the next question I asked Fax was, can I install it in my house? Mm -hmm. So we kind of spoke a little bit about this behind the camera. Um, what are the, con the, the usual reasons or excuse or of people not doing solar panels. Yeah, I would say in the past, right, it's mainly because of, first of all, solar is too expensive. Secondly is uh, our energy bill at at the home actually is not that expensive. Yeah. Yeah, actually in Malaysia, we're enjoying quite a low tariff rate in the Southeast Asia region. Mm. Actually, we, I think we are one of the cheapest in the world. What would Malaysia. be the most expensive? Uh, in terms of electricity bill, I think definitely like uh, uh, US, or if they say look into Southeast Asia, right, mm. Philippines is much more higher than Malaysia. How many energy times bill. do you have? Uh, I think two or three times. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's much, much, much higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Malaysia, actually, we are quite, uh, I would say, well-tempered and, and also fortunate, definitely. Mm -hmm. So throughout the year, definitely, uh, there's a lot of subsidies on the government on the energy bill. So actually, they have to slowly remove it. Mm. Yeah, because it, it eventually have to make it more sustainable. If, let's say, too, mu too much of subsidies, definitely, it won't, it won't really work for a long run. So that's why what we as a Malaysian we're experiencing the energy bill has increased from time to time. Especially and in this pandemic. La. Especially this pandemic, definitely. Everyone work from home. Oh. So I still remember last year, probably like in this uh, June, July, I, I, I believe all, most of our friends, we would post on social media, right? Mm. Why, how come after change so-called the smart meter, or I mean, how yeah. come my bill is super, super expensive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why I found out is uh, energy bill, uh, we have, most of us actually, we are having expensive energy bill. It's mm. a kind of norm already. Mm. Most of us actually, we work from home. It's not a new norm, it's a norm because right now a lot of company, including my company actually, we also uh, implement a lot of this uh, work from home policy. Mm. 
So because we don't think the pandemic will pass. La. I mean, yeah. I think the we pandemic, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will have to live with this virus in a harmonic way. Mm. So that's why a lot of people, they start to think, how can I lower down energy bill? And the most productive way is install solar system. But not much people installing it. Mm. The reason is mainly because it is a little bit, I mean, a little bit still costly, not really for a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, normal people. Yeah. How much are we talking about like, when you say costly? Yeah, okay. In about 10 years ago, it could be about 180 to 100 over 1,000 for Gee. the whole solar system. Today, today, right, probably let's say the cheapest one is still like about 20 over 1,000. 20 over 1,000 to like, let's say 40 to 50 over 1,000. It's much more cheaper compared with the past. Mm. But sort of still like, I mean, it's not that affordable for everyone. That typical mindset of, oh, I put in 20,000, then when only I can break even. Exactly, ah, exactly. Right. Can I put the money in the stock market or oh, invest in property, yeah, something? Yeah. yeah. So it's just like our home furnishings for the makeover guys also. <laughs> uh, do I want to yeah. put in 30,000 to make it so for extra 300 a month? Right, all mm. that thing. Uh. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that's why the whole thing's right. Uh, people that have awareness, they mm. know about this technology solution, able to help. But because of this barrier, right, it's still a challenge. So what people they can afford solar, I would say in the past is, first of all, they have to put out upfront money. Mm. It could be cash or I mean, whatever the saving they have yep. to upfront to buy the whole set of solar system. That's one way. Second way is get personal loan mm. or let's say, yeah, some sort of loan with bank. So I think it's fine. Actually, it's fine. So every month, like about 800, 900 over 1,000 that you pay for like about three years, mm. then you're able to own a solar system. Looks good, but at the same time, actually the monthly commitment, right, about close to a thousand monthly commitment, still quite high. Mm. At the same time, the credit, right, you, the credit limit actually it will get affected. It will get affected. Yeah. So I want to buy a house, also it will get affected. Exactly. Let's say I want to buy a car, or house, yeah, actually yeah, it will yeah. get affected. Okay. So after that, we think of if let's say why don't we do in the rental model? Mm. Yeah, because like what Tesla is doing in the US is also sort of rental model. Mm. So that time I will say is uh, by beginning of this year, then we sort of thinking that it seems like this market pretty big, a lot of demand there, but no one have a solution. Why not we do it as a rental model to make it really affordable? Mm. So that's why this is why we come up with this plan, which is re the first rent to own model in the market, which is the first in the country in Malaysia, and mm. we believe it's also, it's also in the region. Mm. So what it, the cost is very simple. So every month, start from 388 ringgit, and then you pay for every month for five years. That's all. So after from fifth years onward, then uh, after you repay the whole rental uh, program, the whole solar solution will belong to you. And then the life cycle of solar panel, right, is about 25 years. Mm. So which means from six years onward to 25th year, you will enjoy free energy. Mm. Yeah, so that's the concept. 400, okay, let's round it up. 38 sounds a better number, I think the China side of me. <laughs> <laughs> 400 times, 4,008, okay, 5,000 times, five years, 25,000. But then like, okay, very real, uh, this, this is the China side again, right? Um, after I install 38 for the, yep. the, the solar panels, right? So who dictates the size or specs or? Oh, we will set everything. Oh, you guys will set up yeah, everything? Including like operation maintenance is also inclusive. Oh, I was just going to go there. Oh, yeah. Later you, oh, you install for me, you need install and then the maintenance eat cow me. Uh, then. Yeah, okay. no, no, no. Yeah, actually it's all inclusive mm. because a lot of issue, a lot of people they are facing right now is uh, when they want to install solar, right? They have to put the offer money there. Mm. But not all the uh, energy company or the, let's say the solar company, they will be there mm. for long. Some of them like hit and run. Some of them probably they were still there, they will still serve the client, but the client usually they will complain, how come the energy bill or the maintenance cost, the bill is so high? Yeah. Yeah, why, how, how come I don't know about this? Mm. Yeah, so what we did is, uh, it will be all upfront and it's all inclusive. Mm. So we will serve them, help them monitor, and then we help them to do the checking, mm. yeah, from time to time. I mean, uh, from period to period, among that five years. So, yeah, everyone just enjoy the coffee at home and then just look at your bill to keep lowering down. So so how low is the right, like, okay, what's the expected rate of lowering? So let's say my bill, I, my mother-in-law was screaming at me for the bills because I'm the only <laughs> guy at home editing and I work very late, so I work on your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I believe you keep uh, turning on your aircon yeah, until late yeah. night. So I'm the, apparently I'm the culprit at home. <laughs> so... Uh, she was screaming but let's say if my bill is like 400 mm -hmm. to 600 mm -hmm. what kind of mm -hmm. expectation of drop 
can I expect? All right. So it's quite straightforward. So let's say if you install solar, the maximum it can up to save for 90% of your energy bill. Who the maximum? So it really depends depends on your house, your roof, and also how much of energy that you use. Mm. Yeah. So uh, so if let's say your house let's say is about five hundred mm. ringgit. So uh, after you install solar, potentially if let's say it can up to like about ninety um, percent of energy saving. So uh, probably uh, you just need to pay like another like um, uh, fifty ringgit, maybe to eighty ringgit. Yeah. Yeah. And the and the balance right, what you are not paying right actually. You just repay for the solar part. Mm. Yeah. So in the end, as a sum, right, you are you're able to save a lot of energy, which you just pay probably like about 10, 20%, or let's say maybe 30%, depends on how conditioned to TMB. And then the balance, right? Actually, you, you save the money and then you pay the just, Yeah, pay to trade it, or maybe the different package. Mm. Yeah. So in short, right, probably your money commitment, it will be a bit, maybe 50 ringgit, a bit higher, or maybe maximum up to about 100. Mm. bring it uh, addition, additional cost there but the concept is after five years all right the balance of this 80 over percent of energy bill right you don't need to pay anymore mm. it'll be free energy for you and then uh tmb bill actually is keep increasing from time to time so we oh, can't time to time <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly 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 yeah. i mean right now we are in the world of inflation yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah that's why we are looking look to like the investment in a different mm. part that's why, uh, so, so whatever we save, right, for solar, the, for this X percent mm. over there, it'll be locked for mm. 20 over years. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so that's a concept. Okay. A few things. Uh, so what came to mind first is after I install, so there'll be limitations to the type of property that can be installed, right? Yep, definitely. So this is like we spoke about. So I, I kind of catch out him a bit for <laughs> hey, when's the B2C product going to come out so the C here the customers base here who are you looking at like the target audience yeah so we are looking for all the landed houses uh, mm. or house owner yeah it could be uh, semi-D bungalow or the um, link house it's all possible yeah sometimes we do have an idea that maybe bungalow yeah, I can install more solar panel yeah, but more, in fact right? not really <laughs> yeah it- it all depends on your roof shape. Oh, roof profile, correct. Yeah, you're, yeah, look at your roof profile. So a lot of those bungalow, which a lot of fancy triangle roof, right? Yeah. Probably they only can install for the smallest one. Oh. Yeah, potentially. So it all really depends on your house, your roof, how, the, how, the, how, how you design it. Then what's the most ideal form for your installation? I would say it's flat, oh. big, I mean, something like this. Ah. Simple, straightforward. That's okay. a that's easier one. Yeah. So we can do like a uh, tiles roof or we can do like this uh, uh, metal deck roof as well. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So it means individual titled homes, uh, terrace houses, landed one, condo, sorry. Uh, unless, I think that can management choose to. Yeah, that would be the different. So that would be your old model. Yeah, the old model. Lah. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. Then uh, that also applies to factories as well, which is the old model. Mm-hmm. Can I rent to own on a piece of land? On a mm-hmm. piece of land. On a piece of land. So I got a land, right? Yep. Let's say that. Okay. I, I don't really have one. No, I, I, I know you got a lot of land. <laughs> no, no, no. How I wish. You know, I don't really do this with you. <laughs> so let's say I have a piece of land. Instead of doing plantation. So what I had in mind always, right? I, you spoke about this or so. I was going to take a business loan to do solar farming. Mm. So okay. now I got I, the initial amount yeah. was big, my you say twenty over. Yeah. Last time was hundred over thousand. Then yeah. I need a million to cover like yeah. uh, thirty thousand square feet. Then like, huh? No need la. <laughs> So <laughs> then I need to pay rental for the mm. land somewhere. So the and can it work in that case? So if I have a piece of land, can I use this model as well? Okay. Uh this model is mainly for residential houses. Okay. If let's say you have land, right, that mm. it will be fall into a different category. Mm. Right now, what we are doing, like uh, the land, usually the land size, right, we are looking for like about 50, 50 over acres, 100 over acres mm. of land to build solar power plant. The one next to KRIA, is it by your team? Yeah, actually we did one in this uh, KLA long-term car park. Uh. Yeah, which is uh, <clears throat> many years back. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, someone stole my idea. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so okay, so that one cannot. Um mm-hmm. so if I were to start, right? So how do I start? Like how do I gauge 
there will be a website definitely. Oh yeah, right now, um, what most of our clients and also the potential house owner, what they're experiencing is uh, they just go to our website Mm. Actually, we have one software called Plus Design. Mm. In the website, right, it's something quite fun. Mm. You can just uh, log in and then to key in your home address and then you're able to find your roof on Google Map. Yeah. So you just play around your roof. You can design your own solar system there. Cool. Yeah. So after that, we'll give you a report and our this, uh, the, the sales team, it will approach you. Yeah. So it's that simple. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> when they come... Then they say, uh, Mr. Tan, uh, your roof, uh, we need to do some modification. Mm -hmm. Is that cost covered? Oh, no. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you bring up something very important mm -hmm. because not all the house, uh, the house's roof, right, yeah. actually is suitable. You have uh, a lot of old structures <laughs> I see out there. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly, right, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of old houses, right, the structure is even stronger yeah. <laughs> and even oh, more solid. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really depends. Some, some of the house actually is not well maintained, then it will be an issue. Mm. So definitely, usually we have to do like a survey. Mm. So our this uh, our business partner, actually right now, we recruit a lot of this uh, business partner uh, to help us on the revenue side. Yeah, so they will go to your place and then they will have a look of your house, your roof, your structure, your tiles, everything. Mm. So after that, they will give you advice. I will say probably 90% of the houses there actually have no much problem. Mm. To be frank, yeah, usually we will look at your purlin, we know how to calculate that. Mm. Yeah, so no much no much issue unless there's a house that you built without any proper like the uh, 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 CNS structures and okay, engineers okay. stamp uh. or architect. Because design. the panel is not light, right? Oh panel actually uh for this uh yeah, this uh, engineering's uh, uh point of view, right, on a structure point of view, mm. actually it's not that heavy. Mm. The weight is about uh twelve kg to fifteen kg per square meter. So usually okay. right the the structural roof they have a dead load so yeah. the dead load usually I think it is is all within the uh, safety margin yeah so it can capture that again yeah. it depends on the hinge and how you install them exactly 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 don't, te don't get too technical <laughs> oh, show yeah show I know you're a technical guy <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to show <laughs> so after that okay I install already then sometimes they may be okay how long will it take. Oh, you mean the whole things? So let's say when you come already, then like, hey, your roof, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then how long can it? Uh... All right. So the whole things is like that. So once we go to your house and give you a proposal and then, and, and, and then we let you know about your house, it can go for what kind of packages. And if everything looks good for you, then they will go to our website and then they will just need to uh, go to a page to subscribe. So actually right now, we are uh, collaborating with uh, the first uh, rental platform, mm. rental and also subscription platform called Subplace in the country. Mm. Yeah, so they are our exclusive partners. So our clients, what they need to do is just um, through, our, through our website and then they will progressively go to their website. After that, they just need to key in like their personal information and also like credit card information. Mm. Then we will do the credit check on our site. So after that, we just say, okay, all good, green light. Then the next step is we will get the authority approval, like from SEDA, I mean, uh, yep. TMB. Mm. Then we will do installation. So installation part, right, usually it will just take about, about one to two days, pretty fast. Mm. Yeah, after that, you just wait for a while, then you can start to generate the solar and enjoy the energy saving. That includes rewiring to the existing meter and all. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So usually the whole installation, I would say, is uh, pretty straightforward, pretty fast. Then does it matter if it's a three phase or a single phase? Oh yeah, usually this is one of the things that we will have to understand. Your uh, three phase or single phase in yeah. the early stage. Yeah. Yeah. So we will give you a package based on your single phase or three phase. Oh. Yeah. Okay. For those who don't understand, uh, I just show off time again. <laughs> <laughs> no, because olden yeah. days, um, people don't use that much energy. Right? Yeah, you're right. So you're right. so there was no need for extra. So single phase, last time it was at max three icons. But now one house mm -hmm. already. Yep. My my room was more no la. <laughs> <laughs> So easily a house is like five icons, six icons right now. Yeah. And it overloads. So three phase then came into play. Last time it was only for commercial use, right? For shop offices, yep. for factories. So it's generally no limit. But the rate becomes very high. Mm. Uh, so then they were like, oh residential, we don't use that much one. But until it was like six, seven years ago, only residential properties start to become they use more than shop lots mm -hmm. which is yep. insane uh. and uh, with that so what would be the main difference in so three phase one will be more expensive uh, I would say more or less the same 
Okay. Uh, more or less the same. It's just the equipment, like some of the electronic uh, equipment, like inverter, mm. solar inverter that we use, right? It will be a bit different. Correct. Yeah, and also the wiring side, we just do some fine tuning, but it's something quite straightforward. Cool. So it's tied to me, right? Yeah. So let's say if I install, within these five years, I sell the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I will be still paying the thing, although the house belongs to someone else. Lah. Yeah, or let's say if let's say uh, you, you can just pay the balance to us uh. and then definitely the solar, it will be an additional value for you uh. when you want to sell your house to the new owner. Okay. Yeah, definitely they are going in without any cash payment because yeah. they will get a loan, right? Mm. Then they will enjoy a house with really low energy bill. Then this is going to be a stupid question. Can I relocate? Technically, yes. Shit. Really? Te technically, yes. But definitely there are some of the relocation costs. Yeah, exactly. Ah, exactly. So, okay, so. Hey, who knows? I want to keep changing house. Then, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> then what would be, I think what, what, what caught my attention just now is you even do a credit scoring. Mm -hmm. It means people with secret problem cannot get it. Lah. I would say it depends on the level and also situation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah. think, I think it's just for insurance yep, part. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, then insurance, does it does it cover? Like oh, usually what we will advise, right? Yeah, it's not covered, but usually what we advise is all those uh, house owners, right? They can just talk out their mortgage uh, insurance. Mm. Yeah, probably like um, cover on a fire fire site. Yeah, just on this value. Oh, yeah, do. It was on an episode that we talked mm. about. Okay, cool. So after I install everything, then in your opinion, right? I, it's new. Yep. I have not seen this. Does a house with solar panel versus a house without solar panel, do you see a difference in value? Like oh, definitely. Definitely. Kindly elaborate. Yeah, first of all, I will say Malaysian or Southeast Asian, mm. we are really good in calculation. Mm. Yeah, so definitely we wish we, we could own a house or a property, but without much uh, expenses. So if let's say a house comes with solar, like if let's say you have already uh, brought it together with your own uh, this uh, property loan, mm. everything is good because maybe like 80% or oh. maybe more than that of energy saving. So every month you are just paying 50 ringgit or 60 ringgit or probably even lower. You compare with every month you have to pay for a few hundred ringgit. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely this is one of the advantage. The second advantage is uh, based on our study, mm. uh, the house right come with solar panel on top. It will have some sort of insulation, heat insulation function mm. there. Yeah. Yeah. So some certain degree of probably like about two degrees Celsius kind of the value. Wow, two that, degrees is a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that kind of measurement that we uh, measured before, let's say in the in the in the afternoon, really hard. Yeah, it's sort of those uh, kind of the uh, cooling effect mm. is there. But it's not super super obvious. But if you but a lot of our clients they will feedback, oh it seems like a bit cooler right now. Yeah. That's the myth, you know. So Last time, back then, I was really into this. Uh -huh. um, there's this design in architecture called safari roof. Okay. So it's when a tower, you have a flat uh, surface, flat roof. Then what we do is we put another canopy on top of the flat roof. Mm -hmm. That sounds stupid. Why you want to put a roof to cover the roof, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that uh, reduces the temperature. Exactly. Because of that gap. So the Correct. airflow, right? Close the ventilation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Uh, it took a while until this concept was approved by a lot of architects and uh, not architects are the one pushing it the, all the authorities la. then people need to understand the heating that the aircon load takes up to cool down is from the walls and the concrete yep. daytime that's why when we buy terrace houses we don't want to face east or west particularly west mm -hmm. Because on a terrace house, your master living room, the master room is always facing the outside. Mm -hmm. And when it, the sun comes out right into your wall, mm -hmm. at night you pay the price. La. Yep. <laughs> so you can actually feel the concrete wall. So by the time 3, 4 o'clock suddenly, wow, why so, why so cold? And it's because of that. Yep. Okay, that's some theory first. Okay, my next point. Yeah, is you become like feng shui master. <laughs> no. <laughs> but in a very scientific way. <laughs> so, so then like, when you install, right? So this is the roof profile, right? Does it, you do you install it on top of it or do you yep. install yeah. On top of it. Yeah, it should be installed on top of it and also there are some gap. Cool. Yeah. Without penetration. So you won't take out like the 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 the, the shingles and is it called shingles? No. The the roof tiles, shingles block. <laughs> you take out the yeah. roof tiles and install no la. So actually we will like uh, slide up and then the roof tiles, then we will look for the this uh, and then we will mm. usually we will install this uh, L hook. 
Mm. So this L hood, right, actually the shape, right, is perfectly matched with the roof tiles. Mm. So after that, we will slide it back and then you were able to see the roof tiles together. Okay. Yeah. So this is the kind of thing which long time ago, which we have reinstalled like more than about eight years ago and mm. it's all function well. Okay. I mean, like uh, wind, blow, all these things actually is still quite solid. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of proven technology. The other myth is, the, the myth that I was going to go to is because solar energy suck all the solar energy, ma, that's why it's hot. Ma. <laughs> is there such a thing? Okay, this is also a myth. Really uh. good uh, question. Uh. So our solar technology, first of all, this is solar photovoltaic that we are doing. Mm. It's not solar heater. Okay. So this is something that we checked before. Like solar heater, when it's come, in, come across any problem, we need to look for plumber. Mm. But our solar photovoltaic, the problem, we have to look for electrician. Mm. So this is the first myth that people, they usually were confused. The second one is, they were taught that the function of how solar photovoltaic generate power, same as solar heater, is all using heat. In fact, no. Mm. In fact, it's using light to generate energy. Mm. So actually, if let's say the temperature increase even higher, actually it's not so good for the solar panel to generate power. Yeah. So, so that's why, right, on this solar panel, they have sort of a kind of layer of those, uh, uh, the reflections uh, effect because they want to absorb most of the uh, light. And that's why it won't really like super, super hot. Yeah. And one thing is because of the solar panel, actually with the roof house, there's a gap. Yes. So the ventilation, the airflow, it will it cool will down. Be there. Yeah. So some, some of it actually it will cool down. So that's why your roof, uh, it won't be that hot if just purely the roof without a solar panel to cover mm, it. Mm, mm. Cool. What I learned is okay, solar water heater, like those uh you hey, know, our water heater, correct? Yeah. You generate electric using heat. This one you slide. Who I sound so smart now. Um after this. So if then there will be real estate for roof here. So if I have already uh water heater for the photo okay, let me rephrase. If I already have a solar panel water heater. So that space is used up really. Yeah. Then we need to fight for space though. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Okay. But okay, let, let's move on a little bit further. Right? I, I just I heard also during our toilet break, <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about the, 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 reason, the reasoning behind as well is you are now opening up this energy sector, right? To the community. Mm, yep, correct. So I think this is, I think because of the pandemic, a lot of people unfortunately lose their job. Um, very sorry. But then what you are doing right now is you're providing free training. Oh yeah. It's mainly because um, this rent to own model, actually there's a lot of great response from the market. So we are aiming to turn probably more than 1,000 over roof in the country mm. into solar power roof. By the way, uh, the Malaysia have 3.2 million of land houses. Yeah, so the market is huge. Mm. So if you want to do this, right, a kind of a campaign, right, we wish to turn it as a kind of national uh, campaign. Mm. We can't do it ourselves. Mm. So as what you mentioned, it's really right, like white flag uh, campaign or people, a lot of people are suffering right yeah. now. That sucks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why uh, we are thinking, is, instead of doing this ourselves, why not we open our platform? We get a lot of people as a, our micro-entrepreneur, like gig economy platform. Mm. So some of them, they can focus on doing on the revenue side, on the sales part. Yeah, some of them they can focus on the installation part. Mm. Yeah, some of them they can focus on the after sale services, like the maintenance part. So that's why right now we are providing the free training to everyone. Mm. We are not charging any single cents. Yeah, because right now I think something good for us as Malaysian, we support more Malaysian. And this is a way to provide education for people to make a living with the skill. Yeah. So some of them they could be some of the installers who know electricity those electrical works. Mm. So to convert so them, to transition over yeah, 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 quite straightforward. Or let's say the roof tiles actually, yeah, it's quite easy for them to uh, master the skill. Mm. Yeah, for someone probably who are probably like, let's say doing, it could be property or insurance who are really good in uh, promoting a good news to their friends around, right? Actually, this is another, um, another good things for them to share around. Yeah, to, to, to help more people able to save energy through solar mm, system. Mm. So yeah, so this is how the model work and how we are, uh, which this is how we wish to uh, help more people. At the same time, it's all win-win-win situation. Mm. Yeah, which is uh, on on the demand side, the house owner they are able to enjoy energy mm. in a lower bill and not much of financial commitment. Mm. On the on the on the supply side, our side we were able to help a lot of community able to create their own business. Mm. Yeah, and our side we were focused on create this community on both sides able to have a balancing there. 
So it will be kind of a long-term uh, sustainable model. Yeah, mm-hmm. because one, one, one thing which I found out, right, is um, a lot of residential houses after they install solar, usually they are quite difficult to get the proper team to do after the services. Yes. But right now we are doing rental model. So the rental model is during that period, let's say the first five years, they are paying to us. That's why our micro entrepreneur, they have the obligation to serve them. Mm. So this actually, this model improved the quality of services. True. To the homeowner. And it's also guarantee jobs with you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because they will have their own recurring income as well. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So this is how we design it, to make sure the quality from both sides. Yeah. It's all win-win situation. Awesome shit, man. Whoa. <laughs> then moving forward, like five years down the road, right? Maintenance, will it still be part of the cost? Or it will be the additional fee. Uh, fee. Stuff, yeah. So yeah. they can just subscribe for the main. Yeah. Yeah. They will just subscribe probably like uh, less than 100 ringgit. Depends on their size. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or maybe, uh, uh, yeah, y- usually it won't be really, really expensive because uh, solar system, right? <clears throat> it don't really have any uh, moving part. It don't have any motor, any machine. Mm. Uh, there's just someone that might say solar system is maintenance free. Actually, mm-hmm. no. Actually, it's just maintenance light. We still need maintenance, but not much. Mm. So what we need to do, probably like, do, need to do the cleaning once a year. Mm. And then we are actually are doing daily monitoring because we have all these kind of devices to, able to do remote monitoring to see if your house solar able to generate solar as, as, as normal. At the same time, <clears throat> then we will do like a uh, wear and test kind of the checking, measurements, like those mm. el- electricians kind of the uh, checking. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Honestly, I'm I I, I want to subscribe already because so my mother in law can get off my back la. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Sean, you see that bell? <laughs> so okay, that is so cool. And what? Okay, this is me playing devil's so advocate. Okay, what would be the the reason of me not subscribing then? Like like what would be my concern? Like like I should okay like when I sign up then, uh, I cannot think of any la, Actually, three eight eight. Mm-hmm. Yes, it may, may sound a lot to some people, mm-hmm. but to, if you look into the current mode of energy, right, the electrical bill is who. Oh. Moving forward, right, is there any solution for high rise people? High rise building. Uh, <coughs> have you have you like thought of any? High rise building right now, yeah, as you mentioned, like the old model, mm. yeah, which is uh in the design stage. If there's a GBI building, mm. then we can install solar and then we can design for them. Yeah, or after that, yeah, probably the management they will put on the roof. Mm. But it really depends on architectures as what we yeah. mentioned previously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how we design the space, the solar generation. Then the the and so when I learned this, right? So mm-hmm. last time it was part of my syllabus. Um energy monitoring also starts by tracing. Yep. Right? Yes. So like when you know how much energy you're consuming, then um, a, a, a slight tint of the window creates a big difference in your cooling load. Yep. But then, uh, yeah, so is, is there any, okay, this sounds a bit too far off, but you just launched this. So yep. congratulations. That moving forward, like 1,000 homes, right? That's so cool because the, the 1,000, I don't know, just ngam ngam because I want to document 1,000 properties. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, after this, right, in the meantime, is there any, like, cooler things? Because I think a lot of people want to go green. Yep. Like, a lot of people now try to bring their own wok chan. They call it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the food container. <laughs> uh, they go and pick up food. They want to bring their own stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, to me, being kind to earth, being green to earth, takes too much effort sometimes. Mm-hmm. And being green in energy is one of the main criteria, like 30, 40,000, 100,000. Yep. I can reduce the loan by a lot of money. <laughs> Why yep. I want to put solar panel? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, so I think uh, whatever that you're doing right now, right, it's awesome because it just brings the product, such technology to a range that people can access, right? Uh, sign up now, lor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I seriously don't don't see any reason mm. why not mm, and yeah. in, I, if I have a terrace house right so mm. let's say if I put in because last time the debate was I want to put in 100,000 into my house mm-hmm. what would I put in a mm-hmm. new set of furniture or whatsoever right mm-hmm. Mm. then if I were to put in this then if it reduces the electrical load 
then if there's a prospect that wants to buy the house, mm-hmm. I think it will be an added value. La. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Especially yeah. when they come across dollar and cents. Yeah. So every yeah. month now, because maintenance, I got a lot of heat from this. Like I promote a lot of strata living mm-hmm. because then right, you show every month pay maintenance fee. Mm-hmm. Like, but a normal house already also got a lot of maintenance. Mm-hmm which is uh, like what you are, I think the house that you are staying right now mm-hmm. is also a strata yep. living. But are you are you going to install this in your house? Yeah, definitely uh, my house, okay, my parents' house, the first, uh, the house which I have already stayed right mm. previously, I have already installed solar. Mm. Yeah. So for this one, actually I'm thinking, yeah, mm. because the roof structure is a bit different. Yeah, this one is a mixture of flat and, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like the fancy, kind of, different uh. kind of roof. Yeah, so I need to avoid like the shading. Mm. Yeah, but I, but my parents saw which I stayed before, which I've written so solar. So yeah, that one is pretty pre- pretty good so far. So good. Mm. Cool. Then what? Okay, la, the cost. La. No, my mm. what, what? Sorry, gone too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I answered yeah. my own question. I, the main reluctance of why people doing it I, generally. I would, yeah, I would say probably for those uh, houses um, which are paying bill like maybe less than 100 or just 100 something. Or oh, then there's no need. Yeah, actually, yeah, the reason why we start from 3A is mainly because we found out a lot of people who have this need is always from like 300 ringgit and above. Mm. So that's a tipping point. Yeah, so probably uh, for the rest, like maybe 100 something, maybe they won't really feel the pain yet. Mm. Yeah, so at this moment, we are just focused on 300 uh, monthly energy bill and above. Yeah, mm. but yeah, who knows? Maybe from time to time, then when we see the demand is even stronger and yeah, more, yeah. definitely we could open up a, another diesel product line. Yeah. Cool. Seriously, seriously, like like how I wish I can contribute more to this green energy kind of thing, right? Because I I was one of the best students in class during this subject, right? Same as me. Okay. Really, so, really, really. So I'm I, not a good student as well. So I really hope that uh, for those who have who are currently suffering from this very high electricity bill, right, to really consider check them out. And uh, this is also one of the reasons why we get facts back again. Because we spoke during MCO, right? Yeah, I think even before that, I think last year, there's one night I received a message from Instagram and then you asked me, hey, facts, do you do for home solar yeah, solution? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the time I said, unfortunately, no. But mm. I'm planning something, but not sure when it will start. Then, then when was the, yeah. so what was the main mm. enabler for this plan? I would say early of this year. Uh. Early, early of this year. Yeah. What was the enabler? I think mainly it's mainly because I need to pay my bill, mm. which I, Okay, beginning of this year, everyone thought this is a normal year that we're back to norm again, right? Yeah. Who knows that I'm still back again and a lot of things happen. So I found out my energy bill actually is still there. Every month I still have to pay for three, four hundred, five hundred, mm-hmm. this sort of, uh, I mean, expenses. And I heard from my friend, everyone that's saying, oh, this year is why it seems as last year. Oh. It seems like we'll be there. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so that's where we smell uh, the demand mm. is there. And I, I found out there's a lot of company, right? So far, so far right, they, they have the default work from home policy. Yeah, a lot of them, once they're on board, right? Like a lot of HR right now, they have this a virtual onboarding progress already. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. no longer like you have to come to office. So it seems like one of the default stuff. Yeah, so, and the other one is, uh, I really found out mm, this market is potentially, is really huge. And I think just now you mentioned a little bit, uh, for our goal, right, it's not only with solar. Solar is just what we've started with. Mm, mm. Yeah, definitely there's a lot of other clean energy solution yeah. or the product, which right now still at a higher cost side, which we want to lower down with the same model in the future. Mm. Yeah, so solar, it will be just a starting, it's just a, will be a, a, a key start for everyone. Mm, mm. Yeah, after that, we could have other things, other exciting technology okay, yeah, so that we will then this introduce. Is from a, this is a question from an enthusiast, mm. la, right? Yeah. Um, I think there are solar films really yep. in overseas. Like, I don't know how much they cost. Like, mm-hmm, so do mm-hmm. you know like that like they can straight away just put up on the car? Oh, uh, okay. okay. Solar films, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, put yeah, on the yeah, phone, yeah, they yeah. put under the sun. Who puts yeah. the phone under the sun? La? So <laughs> so that, yeah, apparently a lot of solar initiative is more on the European side of things. Mm-hmm. Like even their cars, like, they need to be 100% clean energy cars, only they can go into the city. Mm-hmm. Yep. So like for Malaysia, we still like the hybrid model. Yep. It costs petrol, like where to pump, where to connect the electricity. <laughs> yeah. But for them, they are more stable in that way. Like, 
what would be the future for solar in your in your perception now? Mm. I think in the future, right, uh, solar definitely it will be one of the base and the key element in the energy field. Mm. Yeah, because it's empower people to uh, generate their own power. Mm. Yeah, like what we are doing right now is everyone, last time is everyone can fly, fly right mm. now is everyone, you can generate your own power mm. so you can lower down mm. your bill. So, but something, one of the key things in the energy field, right, is about battery storage. Okay. Yeah, it's also something that you mentioned just now. Because right now, solar, right, we are able to generate power on the daytime. And then based on the Malaysian net energy metering policy, you can pump back to TMB. Uh, and then at the night time, you can use it back and then they will offset one-to-one -one basis. Yep. So that actually we don't need to have any battery storage. But what we see, right, actually the global trend, as, uh, solar is always the start. The next thing it will be battery storage. Yeah, like what Tesla is doing in US. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, over there is quite cheap. I mean, for them, because one, one, one Tesla power, power this uh, power wall, it's mm. just 5,000 US dollar. Mm. If based on dollar to dollar over there, right, it's something no brainer. I will just get one, mm. 5,000 5, for me to save a lot of energy, which I can use energy at night as well. Yep. Use solar to charge it in the morning. After that, I can use it at the night. Mm. So, and also like EV charger as well. So what we will see, this kind of series uh, solution, right, definitely it will be a kind of norm in the mm. next, uh, maybe two to three years in Malaysia. Yeah, because right now, I think in Malaysia, a lot of people also started to consider get uh, EV car. Yeah, and we found out in shopping complex a lot of that already. We are already able to see a lot of EV charger mm. around. Not, so, not enough, ma. Yeah, right, no, no, people enough. are fighting for EV. <laughs> exactly, oh. exactly. At the home side, yeah, people also started to see how can they install like EV charger. Mm. So this is all kind of series route map that we already got planned in our mind. Yeah, to make people able to enjoy those uh, eco and a uh, green, green solution like vehicle or energy in the future. Mm -hmm. mm. That is so cool. So if, wow, the future is going to be so, loud, loud. okay. This is, again, an enthusiast. Sorry if you're not interested anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> so if you're interested, we will put the link down below. Then you can actually sign up and go and check out for more. But uh, this is just enthusiast talking now, right? Um, wait. There was one time when we were doing like farming, right? So sometimes the consumption is different. Like my neighbor consume more, right? So with the Strata Act, mm -hmm. I think people all can generate electric. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the sun on a good place that the that, that corner generate more, mm -hmm. right? Then they will all channel back to this uh, central battery. Mm -hmm. Then at night, then they all can use back based on the one-to-one -one control as well. Mm -hmm. But do you think that this, this okay? First, let's talk about the TMB one to one. Mm -hmm. Is it? Do you think it's going to be for long? Oh, actually, it's under NEM three point mm. So there's a quota there. NEM is new economic. Uh no, it's a net energy metering. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's new. Okay. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. So this quota actually is there. Mm. Uh, so far only like up up to fifteen percent one five mm. of a uh, take up rate. So they still have low quota. So, so for those who don't understand, if you look into the electrical electricity bill at the end, sometimes there's this 10%. Oh, the 1.6% for the renewable energy fund. Uh. Yeah, that is the different things. Okay. That is for the old policy. Uh. When we install solar, right, we can sell the energy back to TMB with a higher rate. Okay. Yeah, so the higher rate, the gap, the delta, that is from this fund. Yeah. Mm. So right now, this one is just one-to-one -one offset. No, so this one no more already. Yeah, this one no more already. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. There's also a kind of good investment last time. Mm. Yeah. Then my uncle did it and then show off. <laughs> uh, then you see my electricity, I make money. Eh? Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, there are no more than this one to one. That's why when I move forward, right? Mm -hmm. Energy consumption in the night for a building management, right? It's always around 60%. Mm, yep. so whenever when because of the strata law mm -hmm. if there's no way that uh, residents get to collect more maintenance mm -hmm. like because not all pay on time let's mm -hmm. face it right mm -hmm. then not all pay at all mm -hmm. then when all of them so every month the management will collect somewhat 75 80% of management fee mm. <clears throat> and they need to pay energy on time mm. how are you going to manage mm. so the first thing that will be cut off will be night lights Mm. interval so instead of uh, I will only open one, three, five, seven, seven. then I will on and off there I'll put censoring mm -hmm. for leaf lobbies which is creepy mm -hmm. so when I walk into the corridor suddenly you wish the 
the lift on, then you see no light, okay, like, then you walk out, then suddenly the on, right? Yeah. That's the worst feeling ever. <laughs> then they were, uh, they were off all the fountains. Yep. They were off all the landscape lights. Yep. They cannot make it because really there's a gap. And I think strata law needs to be stronger in this sense. Yep. But one way to also do it is uh, when they want to install um, energy solutions. So yep. I, think, I think that is one big thing that I really hope to see. And mm -hmm. uh, solar films as well. So like, because a lot of condos now, the facade is no joke, it's that big. Mm -hmm. And when they like, if, if west facing becomes a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or east facing, but, but that's a different thing. So one is you get, that's the, again there's two types of light one is daylight one is sunlight mm -hmm. uh, so what we want is now light la, not mm -hmm. when you yep. are the full the solar water heater one you want heat, heat. so you want the sunlight yep yep so i think okay i think that's enough of enthusiasm <laughs> <laughs> and i think that's about it for this episode um this is a very special episode we're not going to talk so much about property but rather the future of property yep and i do also encourage right, a lot of developers to consider this mm -hmm. seriously when i i think when, from, when it comes from a developer sorry when it comes from a developer it becomes way more easy yep let's say i will do like 500 homes mm -hmm. half of your mm -hmm. <laughs> then when that when they are installed into the house then the cost can be offset in the loan yep but then the result in that monthly fee becomes so awesome right mm, yeah so i think that's one way if, you, if you're a developer do contact him you just say hi i'm from sean channel right <laughs> uh, and i guess that's the easiest way if you want people to go green we want people to go uh con to have conscious about the earth right yeah it needs to be easy yes right make it easy make it simple uh, yeah just one two three step yeah, yeah because to me plastic bag is always easier <laughs> more I, convenient right uh, people, I, uh, I, I pay a lot of money for those uh, recyclable plastic bag man. oh okay because to me i got a lot of woven bag every time i buy but i can never remember so i a lot of people blame me it's a habit but i don't do grocery shopping la, so <laughs> um yeah that's me um anyway uh thank you thank you again so much for coming in and uh do check out his link to sign up because i am definitely going to sign up because i cannot tahan the nagging really <laughs> okay see you guys on the next one thank you ciao